Definitely not. Unlikely. Oh, how nice. He's a pigeon, right? Uh -huh. Oh, wow. I met a pigeon and a monkey on the same day. Pinch me. Hi there, pretty bird. Look, he's on my head. Say, would you like to see some pictures of some deep sky objects, pretty bird? Compass wasn't interested in seeing stars. The food was gone, and it was time for him to go home. But Compass being Compass, he went the wrong direction. Oh dear, he wants to get out. Use the window, Birdie, that way. Go to the monkey, go to the monkey. Oh dear, it's not working. Wait, I know. I'll open the telescope door for him. The door is right there. It's behind you. Look! <laughs> oh, the tension is too much. Good idea, monkey. Just don't let him go inside the telescope. He might hurt himself. Or it. Oh, I can't look. You better take him to the window, George. He can't find it by himself. <laughs> That's it. You've almost got him. Try this. Mmm, wonderful tuna salad. Try and guess the secret ingredient. Ah, uh, no idea. A touch of mustard. Really? Hmm. <laughs> George worried Compass might try to exit through the telescope. George? Hi. Systems restored. What happened? Nothing, nothing. We were just trying to help the pigeon. A pigeon? Ah! <laughs> Is everything all right, Mr. Griggs? I believe so. Oh dear, the telescope is no longer pointing at Mars. I'm going to have to move it. Wait a minute. Look at this! Huh? It's an exploding star! A supernova! Quick, failsafe, photograph it! <laughs> I'm way ahead of you! Oh, George, this is much better than Comet 331P! <laughs> oh, thank you, George! <laughs> Other astronomers had photographed the comet, but only Mr. Griggs saw the supernova. I couldn't have done it without my curious friend, George. <laughs> George was happy that Mr. Griggs got the award, but he was even happier to learn a little more about the stars.
you look at this? Boat race, bucket toss, water slide. You've got everything you need. Yeah. <laughs> the dunk booth? <laughs> Actually, I think I can help you there. Got it after the fair closed down. Yeah. Mind if we borrow it? Well, only if you invite me to your fair. <laughs> wow! That's the most wonderful dunk booth I've never ever seen! Problem lies, George. Yep, thought so. It's your hinge, all right. Rusted stiff. Hmm. Hinges are very important. They're what let things open and close. Like the ones on this door. Hinges even help you get around. Like your knees and your elbows, even your fingers. All hinge joints. But fingers won't help with a dunk booth. We need a real hinge. found a hinge. <laughs> Guess what I brought? Uh, <gasps> it's a dunk booth? I'm going in! This is it. Okay, George, have at it. <laughs> Don't worry, try again. You can do it. Dunk him, dunk Hit him. the target, George! Oh, George! <laughs> Holy cow! The pigs! Affair. You don't mind if we pitch in with a little music? Oh. Um, George, you guys remember me? <laughs> Watch and learn, Mrs. Rankins, because if you got it, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Just warming up. Concentrate now, George. Eye on the target. Come on, George. You can do it. George! Thank you all, oh, Mike. This is great. <laughs> City kid, George. <laughs> Stand back. My turn. I want to dunk Mr. Yellow Trunks. How do we get over the log? Oh, oh hmm. Hmm. Ha -ha. 
But there's no ramp in the woods. We can bring one. <sighs> ah! Now, how are we going to deal with that thorn bush? Hmm. Hard pack trail makes it easy. Just you wait. It gets a lot harder, believe me. These are the thorn bushes I told you about. Okay, if you really think it'll work. Ah. Oh. Oh. Hey, what do you know? It worked! Uh. 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 George? <laughs> okay. Um well, here here goes nothing. Crossing. Crossing. Ha! I made it! <laughs> <laughs> All right! <laughs> Too sticky for our wheels. <laughs> Guess you were right after all, Bill. It sure was nice up till now, though. Wait, you're not... You can't turn back. We're almost there. But we don't have a way to get across. Figure out how to get more boards. <laughs> Good thinking. Nice going, George. <laughs> Great job! Oh, we did it! I told you we could do it. Come on. Ready? You bet. <laughs> the super secret middle of the woods pond. Wow, I must be the only kid who's ever gotten his cast signed by a dog, a city kid, <laughs> and a frog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what the best part of the super secret middle of the woods pond is? Getting to share it with friends. Now all he had to do was count the sheep. One, two, three, four, five. But where was number six? 
There were seven, eight, and nine. Sheep six had to be there too. George accidentally left the gate open. Sheep six escaped. <gasps> Maybe sheep six was in the barn. Nope, not in the barn either. Well, looky here. I guess Mrs. Rankins must have numbered y'all to keep you organized. Huh? But we only have eight sheep. Why are you wearing a nine? Oh, I see. The nine is just a six turned upside down. Eh, well, I can fix that. Ah, <laughs> there. <laughs> That's more like it. Sheep Six came back. <gasps> but how did he get in? <gasps> Sheep number six was back, but now number nine was gone. Hi, George. <sighs> What are you doing? And why are the sheep wearing our calendar? Oh, I get it. You're counting sheep. George, when I said, if you can't sleep, count sheep, did you think I meant real sheep? I see. Well, Grandma just meant to count sheep in your imagination, not go to an actual sheep pen. George thought Grandma's way sounded a lot easier. <laughs> well, I'm going to finish my bike ride. I'll see you after your nap. But George couldn't take a nap yet. He still had to find sheep number nine. George went to get the number six when it turned into a nine. Then it turned into a six again. How was the number doing that? A six was an upside down nine, and a nine was just an upside down six. Sheep number six and sheep number nine were the same animal. The missing sheep had been there all along. George's way of counting sheep was harder than Grandma's, but it sure tired him out. That night, everyone came to George's house to celebrate the new year. Ready for the countdown? Find your Petey. <laughs> Let's ask the guys outside. They go everywhere. <laughs> Where had all the confetti gone? 
Hey, guys. My friend here lost a parrot, Petey. Anybody found one? Not yet, but it's a big park. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Want to come along? <laughs> Good catch. How did everything from that big bag fit into that little barrel? Nice, huh? The trash cans are fake. They cover these underground tubes. They're like big vacuum cleaners. The trash gets sucked down to a central collection area. That way, trash collectors don't disturb our guests during the day. Ready to roll? <laughs> I hope you find your Petey. But Petey wasn't to be found. At least not on the streets. Hmm. It was time for George to search the rides. First up, the roller coaster. George hadn't remembered the coaster being that noisy before. Well, hi, little fella. What are you doing here? <laughs> You lost your parrot, Petey? <laughs> That's tough. <clears throat> Sue's oiling the far wheels on this coaster. Can search the cars for your PD together. A map of all the places you went today? Uh, hmm. All those rides need maintenance, too. What do you say we help each other out? Uh, <sighs> I forgot the most important part. Uh, to take a test ride. Think you're up for it? <laughs> to be tightened. Ah Light bulbs to be changed. Ah and cables to be replaced. <laughs> Whoa! But there was only one more ride to go, and George still hadn't found Petey. Swamp boats it is. George had worked on all the rides and not found Petey. <gasps> Whenever I lose something, it's usually in the last place I look. Ready, George? And Petey? Has anyone seen my monkey? <laughs> 